Unit 6, Education. There are many things to know about education in Canada. By law, children in Canada must study. Many schools have workers whose role it is to help newcomer families and students understand how the education system works and how to adjust to studying in Canada. Being a student in Canada may be different from other countries where you have lived. The Canadian school year begins in late August or early September and ends in June, with breaks during the year. If you arrive after the school year has already begun, you can still enroll children in schools. In English schools, lessons are taught in English, and French is taught as a second language. In French schools, English is taught as a second language. French immersion schools offer a mix of both. The official language in the province of Quebec is French. Newcomer children will go to schools where lessons are taught in French. In Canada, students go to school from Monday to Friday, except on public and school holidays. School bus services are generally available for children who live a set distance from the school they attend. Others may take public transportation to school. Children may also walk or bicycle to school. Students do not usually wear uniforms. When the teacher enters the classroom, students do not usually stand up. In class, students learn by discussing ideas, working in groups, and asking questions. Students are not usually asked to only memorize facts. Students can also participate in activities organized outside of the classroom. Some examples include sports, clubs, or trips to museums. This is how students develop their interests and make friends. Students and teachers are diverse in race, religion, gender, sexual orientation, and ability. They study and work together and respect one another. People with disabilities also have the right to enjoy the same quality in all aspects of their lives as every person in Canada. There are scholarships or financial support to help people with disabilities access education. Additional support is often available for students who have physical, behavioral, or learning challenges. This help can be offered either at school or elsewhere. Speak with the school, your government-funded organization, or your sponsors and seek support as soon as you arrive. It is common for people in Canada to go to school at different times in their lives, including as adults. Here are some of the reasons why adults study in Canada. To complete unfinished studies. To upgrade skills by getting a certificate, diploma, or degree. Or to improve their language skills in English and or French. For adults who have not finished their secondary studies, or high school, there are classes to help them get their diploma. Some of these classes also teach adults how to read and write, even if they do not know how to, in their own language. Adult classes are available for learning English and or French. These classes teach more than just language, and you will learn about life in Canada. Ask your government-funded organization or your sponsors for more information on education in Canada. Mm -hmm.